Hi, everybody. It's Jessica Stone at Stansbury Research, and I'm joined now by Tom Carroll, our healthcare guru at Stansbury, and someone who's very passionate about investing in healthcare. And he says you can do that by looking for patterns. What do you mean by that, and how can we find these patterns of which you speak, Tom? <laughs> there are many patterns in healthcare, just like there are many patterns across a number of different industries. And I think that the more that an industry is regulated, creates more government uh, annual or repetitive kind of thing. So from a, from a high level in healthcare, one of the things we look for are government announcements about reimbursement pricing or rule changes. And then secondly, knowing what companies, what stocks out there are going to be impacted by those particular rulings. It, it's hard. It's very hard in healthcare. I like to say healthcare is complicated. It's difficult. That's one of the reasons I really like to invest in it because other people don't. Um, and you see, like, for example, um, the American Society of Clinical Oncologists, ASCO, as it goes by, every year has a big annual conference in late May, early June. And at this big conference, all these cancer researchers come together and they talk about the research they've been doing and they make announcements about what they're planning to do or they give an update on how a clinical trial is coming along. And this is a big stage for them to basically put out this news and stocks move either yeah. up or down on that news every year. So it's knowing the that- Markets that, move around that conference then. Yeah, so, so it's knowing what's gonna be, uh, you know, when it is, what companies are expected to make announcements and then placing your bets you know, in and around those data points. You talked earlier about part of the reason that you like to invest in healthcare is because other people don't. Does that suggest that if you're willing to take the time and do the research in terms of finding these patterns, that you'll do well, that you'll, you'll be able to profit where other people aren't in just because you're there and they're not? Yeah, I think at the end of the day, it comes down to deciding, you know, what your what bet, bets you're going to place and what trends you're going to look for. It's it's a really good question. You know, there are government announcements again, like I said, knowing what stocks that pertain to those announcements. You mentioned earlier, there's a uh, a little Puerto Rican company, healthcare company that's very obscure that I referred to in our digest this past week that we basically spent years mm -hmm. focusing on and and kind of came up with you know this one indicator that really, you know, the stock traded within kind of this nice channel over the years. And it was just took time to recognize that. And, and the numbers could be good. I mean, you might, you know, if you, if you bought the stock when we suggested, you could earn 20, 30, 40% in the next three or four months uh, as this stock just kind of went up and down in clockwork over the years. So there's definitely some, some, some money to be made. All right, Tom Carroll, always demystifying the healthcare sector for us there. And if you would like to see much more content just like this, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks so much for joining us. That's all for now.